Thank you. The characteristics of a demon are that they're born of humans. You need to eat when you're pregnant. Demons kind of think in 3D. Their brains work on a different plane. It's the White Queen from alchemy. My dad told me when the time comes that I must give her to the person who needs her. Slightly erratic. They're impulsive as well. Checkmate. They're almost like supernovas, or like, you know, those kind of big, exploding, shooting stars that burn very, very bright, and unfortunately some of them sizzle out early. This creativity that demons have means that often they're kind of prone to mental health issues. Demons often have, like, addiction problems. I fell asleep and I had this really weird dream. She is having these dreams and she's trying to piece together what they might mean and she knows there's something very significant. Demons need to communicate with each other. No, it's against congregation. Well, it shouldn't be. And then you add it with the congregation's rule that we can't come together in any significant way. It means that there's a lot of demons out there in the world just isolated and alone. In terms of the hierarchy, if you like, between the witches and the demons, and the vampires, demons are very much at the bottom of the pile. It seems to me that every vampire appointed over the last 900 years has been a white male. Finished, Agatha. And I think it's harmful. It's part of what's destroying us. Being able to live forever isn't necessarily a benefit. Really what matters is how you live your life. Ah! The ability to use magic, like the witches, again, it's either a benefit or it creates anti-value. Agatha feels we all have a role to play, that we all fit together for a particular reason and we all have a purpose.